Okay, this is the Panasonic uh, camcorder, the HCV985, which I bought for $300 used on Amazon. It's a, acceptable, but actually looked in brand new condition. I think I added this the past few days in my bag. But I actually first ordered first the, um, the V981 from B&H, but FedEx screwed up in the shipping. I went into a rant about that. I was so aggravated that I just sent it back because I had a problem with an external mic. Which I'll go into. But anyway, after I sent it back and had a few days to cool off, I looked again at what that mic issue is because it's the same thing with this camcorder and I figured it out. So I figured I'd tell you about it just in case you get this camera or the other camera. It's a caveat. And I haven't seen it in other uh, YouTube channels that have covered this camera. And by the way, I bought this camera or the, uh, the 981 because of Marcus Picks. He went on and on about it. And I agree with him, everything he says that, it's, uh, that you open it, it's very quick, the image is beautiful. So, I agree with him. Great camcorder. Except for this problem, which I'll go into. Okay, so you open the, the door and the camera comes on. This is how it is from the factory. Let me get rid of that uh, menu thing. Okay, so, I have it on intelligent auto. So, what I would want to do is turn the screen around to face me, right? And then I would want to take my, this powered. Uh, lab microphone from Radio Shack. It's still a great little mic. Plug it in. You see that? It's plugged into the mic. And then this exclamation point comes up. That's what happened on the, uh, the, the, the 981. And I take it out and go away. I think sometimes I could record with it. I couldn't really understand why it would work or not work. So anyway, that's why I sent the camera back because I was getting this and it was, to me, it was an error. So when I researched some more, I found out that there's a setting. So, now, one thing I don't like about, another thing I don't like about this camcorder, you can't access the menu when the screen is pointed towards you. Which to me is ridiculous. If it's on a tripod and you want to do stuff, you want to access the menu. But anyway, you can only access it, as far as I know, leave a comment if you think otherwise, if it's in this position. So, um, you go in and you access the menu. You go to Record Setup. Now the other thing is this touch screen. It's, it's very slow. It's not like a modern day touch screen. It's like a, it's a really touch and wait. Touch, wait, touch, wait, touch, wait. So you want to go to the mic level. And I haven't tried this one. You can set it to automatic gain control on, but it'll still set you, let you set levels. Or just set automatic gain control off, which is what I want to do. Because I'm a purist. I'm going to set the preamp myself. And so here you have the gain, it's set at zero, but you could set it down. But I find zero works pretty well. So now, if I plug in the microphone, then this stupid thing comes up, <laughs> which others have talked about. Where is it? Uh, I don't know if there's a way to get that rid of that, but anyway, sit. Okay, and that, that disappears. Now you can see the uh, the bars, which is good. So now if I turn it this way, uh, it should record fine. But I don't see the bars. And there's no way to get them as far as I know. I just can't touch. This is only shows this view. So if I remove it, it's okay. If I move, put it back, but then I get the the exclamation point. So you always have to plug in the mic when the screen is pointed this way to get it to work. Now I can say OK. Now I can turn the screen around and now it will work. So anyway, this fix I believe would apply to both this camera and the 981. Other than that, like I said, the image is beautiful. Uh, the stabilization is nice, the autofocus. That's like a little leveling thing here, which is pretty cool. Just to let you know if you're just a little bit too off. So that's that's convenient. So yeah, all in all, I'm happy with this camera. I think it's a good value for $300. But $800, I'm not sure with that sort of, this sort of like mic bug, in my opinion. I'd like to try the Sony uh, well, AX43 at some point. Uh, so I don't like that. But I do like this hot shoe thing, like on the back. That's sort of cool. Um, and the footage, uh, this is good. Um, I'll try and show some footage over what I'm talking about right now. 
And, you know, another point to the story, again, is try not to get aggravated. Uh, keep your patience. So, again, if I just calmed down about FedEx and took my time, I could have figured out the 981, but I couldn't because it, they aggravated me so much. There's even more to the story than what I did of the rant thing about. And I feel bad for B&H sending it back. On the other hand, this is uh, for 1080p. It's as nice as I... It's a very nice image. It's all, all that I really want. I don't really need the 4K. I'm get it eventually. So, anyway. Yeah, this is the camera. I'm very happy with it. It has a little light in it. When you open this, it sh closes it or opens the, the, the lens protector. The mic seemed to work well. I wish the mic jack was outside of the camera, not in it, so I could keep it plugged in at all times. There's another negative about the camera. So I can't just like plug it in and close the lid. That, that's, I think on the, one of the later cameras they fix that. Uh, but then they put the hot shoe in a stupid place according to one guy's review. <laughs> oh, can't win. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching.